Hello everyone and welcome to Early Morning Prayer Request and Devotions. I hope everybody's alright this morning. On our prayer request today, continue to play, pray for Mr. Bill uh, with terminal cancer that he doesn't suffer unbearably. He's in the rehab home. Pray for Lisa's aunt. Her stomach cancer has come back. She's having treatments again. Stephen Lawson's surgery went well. They had to remove the front of his left foot, but he'll still be able to walk. He thanks everyone for the prayers. Amy's aunt with cancer was given a stronger med, so hopefully she'll, be, she'll have the strength to have her treatments again. And our friend Angel has an unspoken request. Cheryl's surgery included one plate and 12 screws. She's still in the hospital and will need rehab. Pray for Jackie Howard. She's having problems with her asthma. Lisa's granddaughter got to go home from the hospital. Lisa said thanks for the prayers. All right. All right. Our scripture of the day comes from John 20, 1 through 10. Early on the first day of the week, while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene went to the tomb and saw that the stone had been removed from the entrance. So she came running, running to, to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one Jesus loved, and said, They have taken the Lord out of the tomb, and we don't know where they have put him. So Peter and the other disciple started for the tomb. Both were running, but the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. He bent over and looked in at the strips of linen lying there, but did not go in. Then Simon Peter came along behind him and went straight into the tomb. He saw the strips of linen laying there, as well as the cloth that had been wrapped around Jesus' head. The cloth was still lying in its place, separate from the linen. Finally, the other disciple, who had reached the tomb first, also went inside. He saw and believed. They still did not understand from Scripture that Jesus had to rise from the dead. Then the disciples went back to where they were staying. Okay, our devotion today is entitled, Running to Jesus. On a trip to Paris, Ben and his friends found themselves at one of the renowned museums in the city. Though Ben wasn't a student of art, he was in awe as he looked upon the painting titled The Disciples, Peter, and John Running to the Sepulchre on the Morning of the Resurrection by Eugene Bernard, Bernand. Without words, the looks on the faces of Peter and John and the position of their hands speaks volumes, inviting onlookers to step into their shoes and share their adrenaline-charged emotions. Based on John 20, 1-10, the painting portrays the two running in the direction of the empty tomb of Jesus. The masterpiece captures the intensity of the two emotionally conflicted disciples. Though at that juncture theirs, theirs wasn't a fully formed faith. They were running in the right direction and eventually the resurrected Jesus res revealed himself to them. Their search was not unlike that of Jesus' seekers through the centuries. Although we may be removed from the experiences of an empty tomb or a brilliant piece of art, we can clearly see the good news. Scripture compels us to hope and seek and run in the direction of Jesus and his love, even without doubts, questions, and uncertainties. Tomorrow, as we celebrate Easter, may we remember God's faithfulness. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. If you don't know Jesus, what will you do to begin running toward him and his love? If you're a believer, how will you share his love with others? Dear Jesus, lead me into your loving arms today. And Lord, I want to pray today for everyone on our prayer list. Please help all of them with their different needs. In Lord's name I pray. Amen. I hope you all enjoyed this early morning prayer request and devotions. If you did... I hope you'll press that like button. Also subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody, I hope you have a great morning. I'd love to see you later on on Morning Coffee Break. 
Bye, everyone, and God bless.